Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to show you how I made these DIY candlesticks for my wedding coming up in April 2014. So we're taking inspiration from the theme Victorian Gothic. Uh, so we're using the colours black, white and plum. In the candlestick we're using just the black and the plum. The linen that we're using on the tables will be black, so therefore I wanted these to be a bit lighter, uh, which is why I've put the, the white over the black. I've used white tapered um, candles, and you can probably see if I zoom in. Um, we've also done the names, so these will double as our name tags. So that is my name once I'm married. And um, I'm actually going to do another video where I'll actually show you how I have done this. Um, but today we're just going to concentrate on doing the candlesticks. And so I'll show you some of the designs. This one here is the same one um, as um, what you saw before. It's quite tall. It doesn't actually fit into the frame properly. But I do have another one which is um, also quite tall and beautiful. I like those. I've got some short ones which I think I might use for the bridal table uh, so therefore people can still see us sitting behind there where the taller ones I think might block the view a little bit and then I also have another slightly shorter one um, which is here. So for this project you'll need to start off with just the plain pine candlestick. Um, I believe you can pick these up at craft store. If your craft store does not supply them though, you can always make your own, which is what I've done. So I'm just using an Easy Coat Wall White um, on my candlesticks. And give it a good shake before you open it to mix all the ingredients together. And then open that up. And I use the back of the lid because I only actually want a little bit and then I'm less likely to tip the whole tin of white over. Um, so you just need to get your already black painted um, candlestick. This really needs to dry really, really well. Uh, I find if it's not dry enough, when you apply the white, it tends to go sort of um, a grey colour. Um, and that's definitely not what you want. You definitely want a distinctive black-white look to it. Um, so I'll just zoom in so you can see how I'm doing this. So for the bottom bit here, all you need to do is tap in, dab into your white paint. I've got quite a lot on the end of the brush there, so I'm just going to dab it off on the paper. And then I'm just going to dab it, dab it on. I want to cover a lot of the black, but I want to do, I want to still keep sort of some of the black coming through. As you sort of work with it, you notice it starts to go a bit grey. So do grab some more of the the white. Um, I think that's because it's picking up on the black pigment as as the area gets re wet. So then you just need to continue along. Again, take some from your, your lid and then dab it off. And then dab it on the bottom. On this area, I just use a dabbing motion. On some of the others, I did use more of a, um, an up-down motion like this. Um, but I found it sort of left streaks. Um, and I sort of want on a big... Um, area like this that's quite flat. I did want more of a sort of a sponged look. I and mean, you could probably also use a sea sponge for something like this. Um, I tend to like using the paintbrush, and I guess I've gotten into a rhythm because I've painted so many um, that to, for me to change now um, would be a bit pointless. So continue on. I'm um, doing that onto all four sides, and then you need to start with. The sections up here. So on this section here you just want to go like this it's 
it's easier to go horizontally than vertically in these little sort of lumpy sections in here. And I'm sort of doing it so you can see some of the black, but not all of it. And with this section here, you just need to go up and down, work in little sections until you get the desired effect that you're after. And then you'll end up having your finished product. Finished product like this. I hope you've enjoyed watching and stay tuned for my next video which will be on these.